Hi ladies, Jenny here with part one of my mini series on my vintage mini album for Ruthie. Um, I've just taken some sticky back canvas and am painting it with some raw umber and burnt umber acrylic paint mixed with some gold acrylic paint. I've just painted that whole piece of canvas with that mixture and now just dabbing on some gold acrylic paint with a dry paintbrush just randomly over the canvas and this piece of canvas is going to be used for the spine area of the cover of the album so just drying all that at the moment And this is how the cover is going to be put together. They're the chipboard pieces. Uh, so now taking some gold, uh, walnut gold glimmer mist and spraying randomly over that piece of canvas and set it aside to dry until I'm ready to use it. So now just taking that same mixture but added a bit more of the gold um, and that's onto some cardstock, just vanilla cardstock. Um, and now just painting over some Mod Podge just to seal it and give it a bit more strength. So now just cutting this piece of cardstock down to size and then going to score it. Now I'm using the accordion um, pocket fold for a mini album which Laura Dennison from Following the Paper Trail has a tutorial on and it's very clever so go check that out um, that's the title of the video there, Accordion Pocket Binding for a Mini Album. So I'm sort of winging it a bit here. Um, I watched the tutorial uh, and then had a go at making it and trying to adapt it um, to just one little pocket section and this mini I've uh, jumped backwards and forwards with what I'm doing so it's not really going to go in any sequence other than how I felt on the day and what I felt like doing. So there's one little section there and now to join it all together um, you just punch a hole in each end and insert an eyelet or you could in, um, insert a brad and then you just slot something in the middle. So I'm using gold eyelets there because each of the pages that I've used in this album are all edged in the gold Adirondack um, ink dobbers. So there you can see there the opening and I'm just deciding how I'm going to attach it to the album. So I actually used two of them in the album. So I'm just taking, I'm using the collections 
Elements um, Baroque Design Paper for this album. I do use other um, designer paper, uh, just random ones that I've had in my stash. But this is going to be the for the front and the back covers of the album. So I've adhered it to the chipboard and then sanding down the edges and just cutting away some excess paper there. And now just dabbing it all around with the gold Adirondack paint. And now just covering the edges of the um, chip be chipboard piece that's to go, to, that's to be used for the spine of the album. And now painting the inside of that spine section with, um, I think it might be burnt umber. So I've used uh, that painted cardstock piece to join the pages together and I think this was just two inches wide by six inches and then scoring in the middle at one inch and now because it's going to hold two pages together um, I really needed the strength so I used the um, Stampin' Up sticky strip there the red tape So there we go, and that um, it secures it fairly good. And this is that little pocket binding insert there that I'm using that red tacky tape um, to attach it to another page just for the strength and this is just a piece of heavy cardstock that I'm using to join another two sections of the pages together but still using the red tacky tape Okay, so just putting the pages together to create the album in this video. Nothing too exciting. Okay, so join me for part two, guys. Thanks for watching.